Welcome to a new edition of Old Crow's Classic Car Special Edition Unboxing. Well, I was watching some YouTube videos and uh, I wasn't able to start the white truck because I've got no decent battery. So, being on YouTube, I, I got inspired by ultra capacitors. So, Got these from Amazon. Ooh. We're gonna see if they're any good. They're Faith Facey. I think that's the name of the brand. Zoom in there. Hmm. And, uh, my brother here is the master, <laughs> the electronics genius. He's gonna today. I'm not. I'm gonna talk less and listen more. What value are they? Two point seven volts at five hundred farads. Holy moly! Ooh. I'm guessing we can we can use uh, some meters or something to to test if they're actual 500 farads or I don't think any. Uh, well, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if regular multimeters even go past. Oh really? A hundred thousand microfarads. Interesting. They might go up to a farad. They might go more than a farad. I don't know. We can check. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Right, let's do it. Okay, so we're charging the capacitor now, just one for experiments. And it's, it's totally dropped our voltage. So again, I don't even know. Those are volts. We're at about two amps now. Yeah, we don't we don't need to touch anything. We know that our input voltage was no higher than three ish and no more down than 2.6. So we just gotta wait a few minutes for So we're at charge. half of a volt and it's climbing. You can see it on the multimeter. It's just gonna take oh, probably yeah. roughly what you said, probably five minutes five more minutes. to charge to 2.7. So it is doing everything exactly. Okay, so we're trying to measure the amperage now, and we're, the meter's set to 250, so that's about half, so that's about 120, 120 mil, 110, 120 milliamps of current, and we've got about two and a half volts, maybe 2.3 volts in the meter. So 120 milliamps draw and 2.27 volts in the capacitor still that's a very it's a very very small gradual. discharge yeah. yes it is a small discharge but it's a small load yes so you, you could definitely keep this motor running for at least half an hour i'd say <laughs> right <laughs> yeah but put that 12 volt lamp on it and let's see what it does yes All right, so I'm putting the capacitor bank to charge now, and uh, it's currently charging at two amps, and it's at about 12 volts right now. This is a 16 volt, 83 farad module. So each one of these capacitors is 2.7 volts and 500 farads, and they're connected in series. Um, 
So we get 16 volts, 16.2 volts total. And I used this, this board. It's a, it's a forging handle material board. And I got some battery cables. And my brother, the electronics genius, was supervising me. Oh, well, he did most most of the work. <laughs> and uh, first, first, I'm gonna I'm gonna try once this is charged. So this this should go down to zero once it's charged. Um, we still have a lot of questions as to what voltage it will stay at because right now we only have 12 volts, but these are 16 volt capacitors. I think they're going to, even though we're only, we're only putting in 12 volts, I think they'll go up to 16. But we don't know much about this. And then once it's, but at least once it's charged, I'll give it a try. I'll see if it'll start a small four-cylinder engine. And then if it does work, uh, we'll uh, expand on the project. Alright, so it's finally time to test the supercapacitor module. I'm using a 15 amp charger, which is probably high on these capacitors. You probably shouldn't use more than 10, but what the hell. I've already tried it once, and uh, I'm impressed and not too impressed. I'm impressed that it was able to turn the small engine. But I'm not impressed that it only lasted a few seconds, so I think some of the other YouTube videos that are on there, I think it's got something to do with a different brand or amp hours, I'm not sure, but it's definitely not working. That for sure is not able to turn a car engine. It's barely able to turn a small, small engine like this. But... Um, right now we're at zero volts what is happening oh hang on it helps if it's connected hang on. Okay, close. there we're at the maximum voltage right now it's 16 volts um nothing's hot so we damaged anything and uh, sixteen point zero two volts. I'm going to disconnect the charger and uh, So that's about as much as I got from from it. See, it just lasted a few seconds. Now let's uh, recheck the voltage. It's still pretty impressive, though, that something this small can turn an engine. That's that is kind of impressive. And uh, voltage is down to 8.35. Now with the 15 amps, it, it charges really fast in a matter of what, three minutes. So I guess I could either put a bunch of these together or swap out to the Maxwell capacitors these ones are these uh, 
GW series capacitors. I got them from Amazon. They're 500 farad, so I was hoping they'd uh, be better than the 350 farad capacitors that uh, I saw this guy using. Plus, it's got an extra capacitor, so it's 16 volts. And but um, but you know the, the thing is, if this, I don't think we have gas on this engine, but if it was ready to start then it, it sure seems like it would start so at this point i'm just gonna reconnect the charger and i'll just show you the charge rate so we're at 8.4 volts it's a 15 amp charger you can see how fast the voltage climbs. Yes, you're not really supposed to do that. It's not ideal, but this is a test, and I'll just leave that on video so you can see how fast it charges. And we're already at eight volts, but that'll just give you an idea. It should start to become slower now once it reaches 15 volts. Or the higher the voltage, and the harder it is, or longer it is as well, to uh, charge it. And uh, I'll put the link to this capacitor in the description and. Uh, I mean, please, if you if you know more about the subject and if you've experienced with these capacitors versus the Maxwell or other brand capacitors, uh, please let me know. That would be much appreciated. Just a few more seconds. We're here at the, this is the uh, experiment room. A lot of crazy things go on in here. See, it really, really slow. I'm just gonna disconnect it there now so we can just crank it one more time. It does recharge like you'd never charge a battery this fast. And, uh, crank nearly as much this time. Maybe the amper is killing the capacitors. But anyways, definitely not a, a success. So I guess stay tuned for the next part.